654, let's take a look at the stories that we're following as you head out the door. We start this morning with Way 31's Ashley Carter. Local health officials say it's going to be hard to stop the spread of the coronavirus at nursing home. Here at Signature Healthcare at Whitesburg Gardens, 14 residents and five employees tested positive for the coronavirus just within the last three days. The Tut Van Nursing Home currently has 26 active cases at their nursing home. Crestwood Hospital CEO says it's hard to separate the residents, so having cases is inevitable. Marie? We do know a new faster way to test nursing home residents for coronavirus at Whitesburg uh, Signature Health of Whitesburg Gardens is on the way. We know the facility tests residents and employees for coronavirus once a week, but that will soon change now that Signature Healthcare was added to a list of facilities set to receive rapid coronavirus testing machines from the federal government. Sierra. Madison City Schools will transition from virtual to traditional learning in just a week. That change took some parents by surprise because they were expecting virtual learning for the first nine weeks of school. We're expecting more information today from the school district on what this change will look like. Pat. Speaking of school, colleges are also feeling the impact of the pandemic right now. The University of Alabama at Huntsville has a total of 10 cases among its students. UAH says there are currently three students in quarantine. A spokesman said they have space to handle more than 120 if needed. As of this morning, more than 1,300 people in the University of Alabama system tested positive for the virus. Marie. Happening today, the president expected to leave D.C. and head to Kenosha, Wisconsin, despite pushback from the governor and local officials there. This comes after periods of protest and civil unrest after the police shooting of Jacob Blake. The president says he's pushing for law and order 